Hi YouTube, me again, back for history. Great work yesterday on your invitations. We're going to carry on today learning about the Royal Wedding. But first, I just wanted to share some of the good work that we've had, because normally in school we would share each other's work, but we don't really have that opportunity. So I just thought we'd take a look at some examples from yesterday. Obviously I couldn't show all 60 examples, so I just picked a couple. So here we have um, in the corner one where they've decided to invite the Queen and Prince Philip. In fact, if I move my face, so did the one underneath. So they both decided that they'd invite the Queen and Prince Philip because we know that they attended the wedding um, as Harry's grandparents. They've remembered to say where it's going to be held and when it's going to be held. Um, and this one at the top has also said, please dress smart and wear your crowns. Because if you look in pictures from the royal wedding, the Queen and Prince Philip did have their crowns. And then we've got one here that was done with a lovely drawing, which is sadly cut up, cut off at the top and they have invited Prince William um, and they've used some lovely formal language so when we write things like invitations we need to use our formal language so they said we request the pleasure of your company at the marriage of so that's lovely formal um, language they've also said what to wear if you've got uniform wear your uniform like just like prince harry did um or for the ladies you can wear a day dress with a hat as traditionally hats are worn at weddings here are some more lovely examples um i really liked that this one over here invited princess eugenie because she is part of the royal family tree we didn't look um quite as far as her on the tree but she is on there so this person's done some research to find out which other royal family members were at the wedding um this one here above my head they had a little look at what colour clothes a lot of the people at the wedding were wearing and found that lots of them were wearing the colour spring green so they decided to tell everybody that that was the dress code to make sure everybody matched which lots of people do decide to do at weddings because it looks really lovely in photographs and then we've got some lovely handwriting on these ones here that I chose um, and this bottom one here as well has said um, we would also like to borrow your golden carriage so they're um, just asking the Queen and Prince Philip if they can use their carriage because we talked about how Harry and Meghan left on a carriage. So every single one of you did an amazing job. I wish I could show them all, um, but here are some so you can see what your classmates have been up to. So today we're going to think about how we remember the past. We talked about why it's important to remember the past um, because we need to think about the future and how the future will change and to do that we can look to the past. But how do we remember the past? Have a think. How do we know what happened a few years ago? How do we know that Prince Harry and Meghan got married? If we couldn't just remember it, how would we know? Excellent. There are lots of ways. We talked about this when we learned about the Great Fire of London because we know about that from Samuel Pepys's diary. So that's one way we can remember the past. Something more modern, such as Harry and Meghan's wedding, was covered in the news. So there were lots of news reports and these are all saved. They're saved online and they're saved on videotapes at um, the BBC or wherever it's been filmed so that years and years and years in the future we can watch them to help us remember what happened in the past. So let's look at an example of a news report that Newsround did for children um, when the royal wedding happened. So this was done before the royal wedding when they were announcing it happening. Get those flags out and the bunting. We've got another royal wedding on our hands. It's been announced that Prince Harry, the fifth in line to the throne, has got engaged to his American girlfriend, Meghan Markle. So what do we know about Meghan? Well, she's an actress who's been in a number of American TV shows. She's known for her charity work and campaigning for gender equality. It's believed they started dating in 2016 and were pictured together for the first time recently at the Invictus Games in Toronto, Canada. The royals are said to be delighted. They were thrilled with the best of So when's the big day? Well, we know it's going to take place in spring 2018, but the official date hasn't been announced yet. I don't know about you guys, but I hope my invitation's in the post.
Excellent. So that is the kind of thing that was on television when they first announced they were going to get married. So let's have a think about what they told us. They told us who was getting married. They told us when and where it was going to be. When this was filmed, they didn't know the date. We do know that now, so you, we could include that if we were doing our own news report. They told us a bit about their family. They said that the family were really happy and they had a little clip of Prince Charles saying how happy he was for them, which is lovely. And they told us a background about them and lots of different things that could be happening. And they also mentioned that we needed to get our bunting ready and have a party. So they told us how we could join in. So now it's your turn. I want you to pretend to be a news reporter announcing that Harry and Meghan are getting married. I want you to use all the information that we've learnt so you can go back and look at the slides from yesterday if you need a reminder of anything and you can use your invitation to help you. The first thing I would do if it was me is make some notes in my workbook of things I want to remember to say so I don't forget them. So I put some ideas here. So I want to remember who is getting married and we know it's Harry and Meghan and I want to remember to use Harry's title Prince. Maybe I could also talk about the new title they might have after the wedding, which would be the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. I want to tell people when it is and where it is. I want to tell people what will happen on the day. How will they get there? What will it look like? I want to tell people how they can join in. That's really important because the people watching are the people at home, the public. So how can they join in? And then I also want to talk a little bit about why it is important. Why should the public care that Harry and Meghan are getting married? You don't have to include these things. You can do it your own way. But if this is how I would do it if it was me. Um, I, then send me something that you did you can either just send a picture of your notes or a picture of you being a news reporter or even a video of you being the news reporter that would be really lovely to see so have fun with it be creative and I can't wait to see what you come up with